STS-84 was a manned spaceflight mission by Space Shuttle Atlantis to the Mir space station. Topic: Furu. Topic: Mission highlights. The STS-84 mission was the sixth shuttle, Mir docking mission and is part of the NASA, Mir program which consisted of nine shuttle Mir dockings and seven long-duration flights of U.S. astronauts aboard the Russian space station. The prior Shuttle Mir missions were STS-71, STS-74, STS-76, STS-79 and STS-81. The U.S. astronauts launched and landed on a shuttle and served as Mir crew members while the Russian Mir crew members used their Soyuz vehicle for launch and landing. This series of missions expanded U.S. research on Mir by providing resupply materials for experiments to be performed aboard the station as well as returning experiment samples and data to Earth. STS-84 involved the transfer of 3,318 kilograms 7,315 pounds of water and logistics to and from the Mir. During the docked phase, 465 kilograms (1025 pounds) of water, 383.2 kilograms (845 pounds) of US science equipment, 1168.6 kilograms (2576 pounds) of Russian logistics along with 178.1 kilograms (393 pounds) of miscellaneous material were transferred to Mir. Returning to Earth aboard Atlantis were 407.1 kilograms pounds of U.S. science material, 531.2 kilograms 1,171 pounds of Russian logistics, 14 kilograms 31 pounds of ESA material and 170.7 kilograms 376 pounds of miscellaneous material. Sixth Shuttle Mir docking highlighted by transfer of fourth successive U.S. crew member to the Russian space station. U.S. astronaut C. Michael Fole exchanged places with Jerry Lininger, who arrived at Mir 15 January 1997 with the crew of Shuttle Mission STS-81. Lininger spent 123 days on Mir and just over 132 days in space from launch to landing, placing him second behind U.S. astronaut Shannon Lucid for most time spent on orbit by an American. Another milestone reached during his stay was one year anniversary of continuous U.S. presence in space that began with Lucid's arrival at Mir the 22nd of March 1996. Other significant events during Lininger's stay included first U.S. Russian space walk. On 29 April 1997 Lininger participated in five-hour extravehicular activity EVA with Mir-23 Commander Vasily Sibliev to attach a monitor to the outside of the station. The Optical Properties Monitor OPM was to remain on Mir for nine months to allow study of the effect of the space environment on optical properties, such as mirrors used in telescopes. On 23 February, a fire broke out on the 11-year-old station. It caused minimal damage but required station's inhabitants to wear protective masks for about 36 hours until cabin air was cleaned. 
Besides Lininger, crew members aboard Mir at the time included two Mir-22 cosmonauts and a German cosmonaut, and two Mir-23 cosmonauts. STS-84 docking with Mir occurred on 17 May at 2.33 coordinated universal time above the Adriatic Sea. Hatches between two spacecraft opened at 4.25 a.m., 17 May. Greetings exchanged between STS-84 crew and Mir-23 Commander Vasily Sibliev, Flight Engineer Alexander Lazutkin and Lininger, followed by a safety briefing. Lininger and Foll officially traded places at 14.15 Coordinated Universal Time. Transfer of items to and from Mir proceeded smoothly and was completed ahead of schedule. One of the first items transferred to station was an electron oxygen generating unit. Altogether about 249 items were moved between the two spacecraft, and about 450 kilograms 990 pounds of water moved to Mir, for a total of about 3,400 kilograms 7,500 pounds of water, experiment samples, supplies and hardware. The research program conducted by Foll featured 35 investigations total 33 on Mir, 2 on STS-84, and another pre-flight, post-flight in six disciplines, advanced technology, earth observations and remote sensing, fundamental biology, human life sciences, space station risk mitigation, and microgravity sciences. 28 of these were conducted during previous missions and were to be continued, repeated or completed during Foll's stay. Seven new experiments were planned in biological and crystal growth studies and materials processing. Undocking occurred at 1.04 Coordinated Universal Time on of May. Unlike prior dockings, no flyaround of the station by the orbiter was conducted, but the orbiter was stopped three times while backing away to collect data from a European sensor device designed to assist future rendezvous of a proposed European Space Agency resupply vehicle with the International Space Station. Other activities conducted during the mission included investigations using the BioRack facility, located in the SPACEHAB double module in Atlantis's payload bay, a photo survey of Mir during docked operations, environmental air samplings and radiation monitoring. Orbiter performance was normal from launch to landing. For the mission, Atlantis was equipped with a 4,187-kilogram Spacehab double module, and a 1,922-kilogram orbiter docking system. See also List of human space flights List of space shuttle missions Outline of space science Topic. External links NASA Mission Summary STS-84 video highlights This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.